Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we are diving into the world of data serialization and we'll take a close look at three of the most popular formats which are JSON, BSON and JSON. So then I will explore their features, differences and use cases to help you make an informed decision you know, while working with data in your application. So without further ado, let's just get started. Alright, so first up uh, we have is JSON which stands for JavaScript Object Notation. So if we dive into the world of JSON, you know, imagine it as a digital messenger which is helping your computer talk to others. So that JSON chart for JavaScript object notation is like a friendly language that computers and servers used to chat with each other it's basically very organized easy to read and built on the basic building blocks of information so if i can say that in simple word think of it as a digital organizer that neatly stores strings or you can say as well as numbers objects and much more so yeah when your uh, web browser speaks this language it's like a magic you know it's very quick simple and really really efficient all right so if we talk about the syntax of json like an overview of the syntax like how does it look like so json uh short for javascript object notation is a syntax that follows a straightforward and intuitive structure okay um it basically primarily uh, comprises of key value pairs you know in which each pair consists of a key and its associated values. So the keys are always enclosed in double quotation marks and values can be strings, numbers, booleans, arrays, or even nested JSON objects as well. So yeah, in that we have curly braces that are used to define objects, you know, allowing for grouping related data. And also yeah, while uh, square brackets define arrays, enabling the representation of ordered list in that. So yeah, uh, this all simple and consistent syntax make JSON an excellent choice for data interchange as well as you can say storage and communication between applications, systems, and platform. Okay, so next up uh, we have BSON or you can say that as binary JSON as well. So if you talk about BSON, it's a bit of a mystery in the digital realm. Uh, picture BSON as a sacred agent, you know, that is encoding information in a language that only machines can fully understand. You know, unlike his cousin JSON, it's not like human readable but more like a secret code. Uh, BSON or binary JSON is like the encrypted version of JSON is like very lightweight, fast and fantastic as hiding complex data in a compact and a very efficient manner. So at this BSON, a machine can read it very effortlessly, making it a very great choice when speed matters the most. Alright, so now let's discuss uh, JSON as well. So yeah, JSON is basically like a language wizard that speaks both Java and JSON fluently. So yeah, if we discuss uh, JSON a bit more, it's basically an NFT tool that is brought to you by Google. Um, You can imagine it as a talented translator that's more convert Java objects into JSON and back again. So yeah, uh, JSON lets your Java programs communicate effortlessly with the digital word using the JSON language. Uh, you know, it's like having a super fast bridge between two different languages, that is Java and JSON, helping them understand each other without missing a beat. Alright, so if we talk about the features comparison between JSON, BSON and JSON, so yeah, here I have provided you guys a chart in which I have provided a features on one side and you know the support of JSON, BSON or JSON on the other side. Okay, so first of all, if we talk about the file format, so it is standard on JSON, binary on BSON and none on JSON. So if you talk about the data interchange format, so it is text obviously on JSON as I told you guys, binary on BSON and text on JSON as well. So yeah, uh, JSON is commonly used for communication, BSON is for storage, and JSON for serialization. And if we talk about the data type support, so it is very basic in JSON, but BSON it could be additional, and it's JSON is also basic. And if we talk about representation of data types, so standard again in JSON, and BSON is quite extended as we discussed earlier, and is standard on JSON as well. Same uh, we have for indexing support, none on JSON, and in JSON and BSON we do have the indexing support. And if you talk about encoding and decoding techniques, so we don't require encoding or decoding techniques in JSON, whereas in BSON we do and no in JSON as well. So for space efficiency, the JSON requires very less space efficiency. Unlike that, uh, BSON requires more efficiency. And if you talk about the speed of processing, so uh, JSON is very slow. But on the other hand, BSON and JSON are lightning fast for speed of processing. So yeah, this is quite useful chart for you guys. So if you want to look into the features, this will beautifully summarize all the features of JSON, BSON and JSON. So yeah, there you have it. This was a key difference between JSON, BSON and JSON. Uh, remember that each format 
format has its own strength and use cases. So if I conclude all this comparison, JSON is basically great for human readable data interchange, uh, whereas BSON is efficient for storage and performance. And if you talk about JSON, JSON streamlines JSON handling in Java application. So yeah, consider your project requirements and choose the format that suits best for your needs. So yeah, I hope you like this uh, mini comparison and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.